Welcome to iPads in Schools, Paul Hamilton here again. Uh, today we're going to look at the app iCard Sort. Um, another wonderful app that uh, can be used in any learning context. It's one of these learning process type apps where you can use it for spelling, reading, um, any literacy kind of work as well as numeracy work, a um, whole range of different things. Now, you'll see that when I once again when I open up iCard Sort, it comes up with the last student's work. So what we're going to do is at the top left hand corner we're going to press DEX and when I press DEX it opens up all the DEX that are on my iPad and I'm going to press the plus sign. The plus sign on the iPad is to start um, a new document if you like and I'm going to name it. So I might just name it Paul um, and press return. And so to get out of this, I just press on the side of the page. Now you can see here that it's opened up in a particular template. Um, we can change that template. I'm going to keep it as it is at the moment, um, but this would be a very good uh, categorizing or sorting type template to actually use as a background. So the first thing we're going to do is press the plus button at the top and we're going to create a deck. Um, we'll start with a single card and I'm going to start with just the word I. I touch on the side of the page and that creates my card. I'll press plus again. Um, I might get off the capitals actually for this one and just put can. Press on the side. I can click, sorry not click, I can touch and drag my separate cards wherever I want them. Um, and I might create just one more, uh, the word walk and I touch on the side. So I've got three cards that I can move around, manipulate, uh, make bigger, uh, make smaller, and so on by pinching and zooming in on the iPad. Now, where this app really, really shines is our ability to sort. Okay, so this might be um, a simple um, sentence construction activity. So I can just make, I can walk. And you can get the students from uh, prep right through to year six to brainstorm as many words as they can. Uh, maybe you're categorizing and sorting them in different, um, in phonetics, in different um, categories with meaning, and you can categorize words in a whole range of different ways. If you've got a weekly spelling list, you can also do that as well. Um, you'll notice at the top right hand corner, we've got words that say group and order. Um, so you can actually order them and group them, but you can see the little button at the top right hand corner that has the arrow. I want to have explore that for a little bit. So what we can do is we can shuffle the cards. And so what that does is randomly shuffle them. And what you can do is get students to um, change their iPads, actually swap their iPads, press shuffle, and then actually sort them back into uh, particular sort groups and categorize them. Um, so you can actually get some collaboration going with your students in your classes. You can swap iPads, do some more sorting, swap with another student. Um, if you're using Kagan groups in the classroom, you can do a lot of those act types of activities with that as well. I'll press on that little uh, button again at the top right hand corner. And the other thing that we can do here is in the settings category, we can actually change the background. At the moment, we've got a background image, which is kind of the chalkboard, but we might decide to do some categorizing in columns. Um, so if I look there, I might have words to do with walk and words that I can, can and uh, sentences that start with I. We can do a range of different things. The sky's the limit with iCard sort. You might decide to do some vocab work in uh, science or history or geography and actually come up with a group of words and then categorize them. Um, so that's an iCard sort, really, really simple, very similar to Simple Mind in that there are no obstacles or um, obstacles for the student learning here. It's very easy to do. We can also change the color of the cards by actually uh, double tapping changing the text if we need to, and actually changing the color cards down the bottom. Um, and there's a range of different colors and things we can do there. So you might use colors in your sorting and categorizing as well. So that's iCard Sort. Um, really easy app to use in your classroom with your students. Great for brainstorming, great for spelling, great for literacy. And um, hopefully you can use this uh, to good effect with teaching and learning in your classroom.